Next, we're going to look at how we can set up the wireless lapel microphones. Let's imagine these handhelds are all taken care of. They're all batteried up. They're out on the stands. They're good to go. The next thing you're going to want is to set up a, a lavalier microphone for whoever is uh, preaching that week. Uh, sometimes you'll have somebody else speaking who might want one as well, um, and you can just hand them one. Um, currently, our most reliable wireless channel is RCC4. Um, that might change just due to the very uh, fickle nature of wireless technology. But we're going to assume we want wireless uh, lapel mic 4. So I'm going to open up the bag, RCC4, and pull out our pack. The pack includes a couple different components. We've got the, uh, the wireless pack itself. Um, this just is kind of the, what the microphone plugs into and then broadcasts the signal back to the booth and it's also labeled RCC4. Then we have the lapel microphone. Um, this end will get plugged in to the, um, the pack. Make sure it's uh, nice and snug in there when you connect it. Um, and what you're going to do is, very pretty simple, you're going to press the two, um, there are two little tabs on the side of the pack, you press them in, and then the pack opens up. It takes two AA batteries, so let's just slide those in. We got those, boom boom, make sure you get the right direction, because batteries are hard. Now when you put those batteries in, you can switch it to the if the lights aren't coming on automatically, just give it, um, flick this little switch on the top so that green light comes on. We will actually leave, and this goes as well for the handhelds, you actually leave this on the entire service. The batteries will last the entire worship service, no problem. Um, and you'll notice it's good to go, it's on, and we're ready to roll. So we close the lid. I usually like to press in the tabs as I'm closing it just to make sure that nothing's like I don't know if that wears down. That might be totally pointless. I don't know, but I just do it anyway. Um, and just like with the handhelds, before you give the microphone to the speaker or whoever's preaching, whatever it is, you want to make sure this thing works because if you don't test it and then it's not working, that person will likely have already uh, clipped to themselves and ran the, the mic cable uh, maybe through their clothes or whatever. And so it's annoying to have to unstring it so to speak all right so what we're going to do here we're going to test we're going to take the mic cable with its kind of four uh, the middle prong and then three side prongs we're going to line it up you'll notice the port you're plugging into will have the appropriate number of prongs to go with it so one way that you can just kind of spin slowly, or you can line them up, um, you know, in advance. Kind of the way it normally works best, sorry about that. The way it works best um, is that this little black knobby thing will face to the front of the unit. So now the microphone is plugged in. We can now test um, how the microphone is picking up. Let's go over here to the board. We're doing channel four, so let's go to WM4 wireless 4, wireless microphone 4, and I'm speaking into it. I'm getting good level on it. Um, I'm holding the microphone right up to my mouth right now, um, so we have to imagine the speaker will probably have it. Um, let's see, now I got it down on my chest, so that's about where they'll be speaking, which is pretty good. It's getting a solid green, a little bit into orange in the more uh, intense moments, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to unmute the channel. All right, the channel is unmuted, and you should hear my voice, and we're good. The test has concluded, did a great job. Hand it over to the speaker, you're ready to roll. Make sure you advise the person speaking to clip it uh, somewhere, yeah, to their chest where it will not be um, uh, in the way of like, like you don't want clothes or hair brushing up against this unit, because it will get, you see you get some, you get noises. So you want to make sure it's uh, they clip it somewhere where this will be free from getting brushed by stuff. All right, and you're ready to hear a sermon. Good job.